And here we are. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. In this episode, we are on planet Snivelac to go and rescue Angela, who she got kidnapped by the darn thugs for last last episode. So hopefully everything turns out okay with getting her back. <laughs> we need her back. She's our new girlfriend. Okay then. So what's in here? Maybe there's some new weapons. Um. Oh my. Zodiac, words cannot describe the devastating force of the Zodiac. Really, 1.5 million bolts. That is quite a big number that I was not expecting to see. We still have to save up 100,000 bolts for the stinking, <laughs> the armor. I don't know how we're gonna be able to do that if we will actually be able to do it. I don't know, guys, I do not know. But either way, we'll just make sure to get any bolts that we see come our way so that we can get to as close as many things as possible. Um, let's go get you pulled the swing shot and then swing on down and what do I see up there? Oh, it's a new energy thing. Um, oh, can I make that jump? I'm not sure. That's a pretty high jump to make. Maybe I need some type of upgrade or something crazy like that, but either way, there's just so much going on in this game. It's crazy. Um, hmm. Looks like this is a cool looking city, a dangerous looking one as well, but cool. Oh, man. Well, let's just keep going, though. Keep hookshotting all over the place, and that one opens up a, uh, a grind boots area, which will be fun. Okay, we're almost at that 100,000 bolt goal that we had, which will be super duper helpful for getting that new armor. Um, there we go. Pull this on down, Timber. <laughs> and what is over here? Um, anything we can access at the moment? Not looking like it. Okay then. <laughs> Better to check by hitting it with a wrench than not doing anything at all. Let's go. And oh, this looks like it might be difficult. Um, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Um, well, what is that? Oh, that's one of the things, uh, one of the uh, tools that we can use. Hopefully I didn't have to do anything there. <laughs> Maybe I had to, I don't know. Oh, it's a little too late now though, we got a continue point, which is good, but also bad, because if we want to go back and redo that, we can't. By the way, we'll just keep going on. Hopefully it was just nothing super duper important. It was just this. Oh wait, maybe this is it. Okay then, um, yeah, I need to go into the gadgets. It should be, uh, this one, okay, um, there we go, okay. So there we go, it's doing what we needed to do. Um, oh, I see what's happening. It's moving all the platforms for us, thank you so much. I appreciate it, okay. We gotta go this way, gotta go this way. A whole bunch of sort of <laughs> dizzying things. There we go, now we're on up here. What is on this side? Nothing worth noting. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now we can go on this way, and wow, the sky, it looks sort of menacing way up here, but still cool. And uh oh, helicopters. Uh, are we? Oh no! No 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 no! What do I do? What do I do? Oh no! Oh gosh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, chopped up. Uh oh oh oh. Okay, I got lucky that one time, and then the other time I got hit, and it didn't do too much. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that was alarming. Um, where are we going? You know, off this way. This area is sort of oddly barren. There's just nothing here for no reason. And wait, is this? I don't know. This is the stuff we already got. You know, when you see it move like this, it sort of looks like a power cell from Jack One. That's pretty cool. Is there anything back here? Uh, any secrets? Nope. <laughs> I'm being so explorative, and you don't <laughs> appreciate that. Come on, Insomniac. Give me a break here. So, what's going on here? Is this a launch pad? We haven't seen one of these in a good while, if ever. Is this the first one? I don't think it is, but. Oh, there we go. Flying on off. Why do I keep saying that? On off. I've been saying that all recently. Finally, we have another armor vendor, but we still need 6,000 more bolts, and we have another one we could buy for 250,000. At this point, it's just like, geez, give me a break. Oh, man. All right, then, where are we? So there's stuff over here, and there's stuff over there, and there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> there's stuff in my hair. This is suddenly a Dr. Zeus. Uh, Dr. Seuss, let's play. Um, hmm. There's just so much to do, though. It really is overwhelming at times. Um... I wanna make sure I get these mushrooms because they do have a good chunk of bolts in them for whatever reason because everything organi organic or not is made out of metallic bolts in this game and that's fine with me in this world, this universe, that's just how it be. What is that down there? That, that looks like there's something worth checking out. Um, yeah, let's go on down and check this out. What is this? It doesn't look, it doesn't look like this can be accessed anywhere else. This is definitely a secret. Ooh, I love secrets. <laughs> Zebra loves the secrets. Okay, then we're going on up here. Yeah, oh no, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have to jump and do it at the same exact time. Okay, let's give it a shot. There we go. Okay, doing good so far. <laughs> Only fell once. Hmm, what do I do here? Oh, oh my, oh my, no, 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 no. Platforms, why? Let me try to get back here. There we go. I sort of shortcutted it, so that's nice. Um, yeah, let's do that, and then let's do that. 
And there we go, we got ourselves another platinum bolt. Awesome, we'll be able to buy something nice with this. Oh, and that city in the background, that big old building, that's just really cool looking. All right, then, is there anything else in here? Nope, just a platinum bolt. All right, then, how do we get back? Probably, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, maybe if I, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> and then go on down here. We still need a good amount of more bolts, so hopefully we can go down this little alleyway and destroy these things, and maybe this will get me some good stuff. Only way to find out is to know. Oh man, that's a lot of shots. <laughs> this is like a tank, okay. Full out warfare going on here. Israeli art thugs, whoa! Look at all the dudes in there, they had a party in there and they didn't invite me! Feel my wrath then! Person who doesn't invite Ratchet to a party? Oh, you're gonna miss out. <laughs> Ratchet's a party animal, and an animal. Oh, maybe they weren't actually all in there. Maybe they're just all hiding behind, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it looks cool. All right, now let's get all of these bolts we just rightfully earned. A couple thousand, which is good. There we go, give me all that stuff. I just need a few thousand more, so this is super duper helpful. And then now we got these guys. We're not gonna mess around here. That was my last shot for that though. Um, hmm. I guess I'll use the lava gun, or maybe I'll use the HK22 or the auto seeker. Um, there it goes. It's not auto locking on it for some reason, but that's okay. Either way, we can just do this. There it goes. It's doing its thing. <laughs> okay then. So these guys over here as well. Not a big deal with this thing. It's pretty easy. Just point and shoot and get lucky. Okay, there we go. We only need like a little bit more. Come on, just a few more bolts, please. And there we go, we got the 100,000. Let's go back and get it now while we have the time. We have the opportunity. Out my face. Oh, my face, oh gosh. Let's uh, go through here, Yeah, do this, and then buy that. Thank you. All right, I'll get our new shiny red armor. I love it, cool. It's so daunting to see that we only have 300 bolts now, and ow my face. Um, so what can we use now? Now that we're nice and close, we can start using the lava gun, which will be much more helpful just because we need to actually level this one up instead of having the seeker gun, which is already maxed. So yeah, let's take out this guy. And oh wow, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I mean, this is their home base. I'd think they'd be everywhere, so I don't know why it's such a uh, surprise for me, but wow, they're going crazy. I gotta start using my wrench too, because you know we got that all boosted up in the last episode. If you haven't seen, you should go check it out. But, <laughs> Yeah, and so now we, oh, no, I'm gonna die anyways. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. All right, so the best way to do this, I guess, is to guide these guys over so that we're not completely surrounded by them, and we can just sort of bottleneck them and then just shoot away and dodge at the shots that they throw at us, and then throw some back at them. Um, now what the best thing to use here? I'm not really sure. Maybe we'll pull out the synthenoids, and then we'll pull out these guys, and that'll help us figure this out a bit more. If I could just lock onto these guys, that'd be super duper helpful, but, oh, there we go. And this, <laughs> I don't wanna hit, get hit by the lasers, because that wanna be fun. Oh boy, no, but I'm getting hit by him anyways. <laughs> Ratchet is set on that goal. I'm gonna die here, or I'm gonna die trying. <laughs> that's sort of an oxymoron, but that's the fun in it. Okay then, so let's get this guy out of here. And then hopefully that's all of them. And hopefully this tank doesn't go crazy on me before I can get more um, ammo and stuff. Um, can I break this? No, I cannot, okay. Oh, looks like we already broke it, okay. Um, looks like we're not going through that door. So much going on. What's uh, yeah, okay, now we got some more ammo for this. Feel my wrath, man. You can't handle all this. <laughs> it can't, it's just uh, sitting there taking it. Okay, I won't complain. It just means less that I have to spend on ammo. Okay, um, oh boy, what's happening? There's people behind me. Spooky, oh no, there is some people behind me. What's happening, wait, what's shooting at me? There's something above my head. Oh, I didn't even notice, that's creepy. <laughs> I thought that was my synth noise, but no. Oh gosh, stop that, that's so rude. Um, let's get this, and then, Come on, get this and then hit it with the lava, come on. No, this isn't working out for me very well. Okay, synthenoids, do your thing please. Just, ow, ow, stop. <laughs> you big jerk, come on, just something. Mini rocket, that's what I need. Um, Did they take him out? I think they did, okay, good. And then we can get this, and all this kind of stuff. But these guys, they're all waiting all on here in uniform and everything, and like, I hope it's a scheduled appointment to be here. 3 p.m. on Tuesday and 3.05. This is an outrageous event. <laughs> All right then, so let's uh, do this and get rid of him. No, 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 please, please. <laughs> I have to say, it's it's crazy when you think about it that this was made on the same console that you know Ratchet and Clank One was made on. It's sort of it's really cool if you actually look at like games that are in like trilogies like that. Like recently on stream we were playing Crash Bandicoot One, and then I looked at some gameplay for Crash Bandicoot Three, and I'm like, wow, these were both on the same console. It's really crazy how uh, developers can get more com comfortable with the console and be able to just sort of step up their game and just like sort of know what they're doing. It's really cool. That's just like, as the years go by, 
as developers get more, you know, comfortable with, you know, like, a device like that, they can do better things with it, which is really cool. Which is why it's like, you know, it's not always agreed that, you know, we have a, you know, gaming culture where everything's just upgrade, 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 you know? Because we can actually learn to use what we have already to make amazing things. Why did these guys just keep getting spawned in? Again, on my nerves, I gotta use the big guns to take them out again when I could be using my upgradable weapons if this ever gave me ammo. There it goes. <laughs> the storm is over, whatever that was supposed to be. Okay, let's get this stuff. There we go, doing pretty good. I mean, we're dying a lot and we're running out of ammo, so maybe we're not doing as good as I think, but we're doing something. <laughs> we're not staying in one spot all day. Oh, please, let me get the ammo. Oh, well, no, you're not gonna let me do that. Wow, they're getting close. Can you not be rude? Thank you. Um, At this point, I wanna use the heavy, I just wanna use any type of item I, or weapon I have. Um, These guys just don't lock on, there we go. Darn helicopters. <laughs> they're being really tough right now, too. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do about this? I'm just trying to run at this point. There's too many of them. <laughs> I gotta skedaddle. No, there's too much to skedaddle from. Too much skedaddling. No, I'm not a fan of this much skedaddling. Come on now. Give me a break. Give me a big old break. These guys are staring at me, but wow, this is an insane level. Game is really stepping up its difficulty at this point. Like, wow, we. Okay, I get it. I get it. You guys just don't like me. You don't want me to be here, but you know what? I got a girlfriend to get. <laughs> so I gotta be here, and you're gonna like it. Oh gosh, the game's in line. That's how many enemies there are in this area. I gotta free up this disk space. <laughs> by taking a care of a few of you guys. All right, then I gotta make sure the synthenoids are out at this point, just quite often. Just because, you know, it's helpful to have them around, and of course they'll get the level ups for me, and it'll be all so good. Okay then, so, got all this stuff figured out. Get those guys just chilling over there, like, come on, bro, make your move. Make your move, you won't regret it. I'm gonna pull out a weapon that might actually help us here. Let's try, um, the shock mod. Um, what's it called? Here we go, um, let's give this a shot and see. If it works, okay. Yep, that's gonna take about nice and easy. Excellent, hooray. Right. I love how those dudes fall out all stiff and everything. <laughs> They're like, what do I even do about this? I'm so nervous. Okay then, so getting all of this, all we had to do was run away like a coward, <laughs> but it worked out for us, so let's get this too. Awesome, okay. We're si finally making progress again, guys, finally. Oh my, what is this? What's so funny? Uh. Nothing, I guess. Uh, prepare to die! Oh no. You gotta be kidding me right now. You have to be kidding me. Meow. Okay, what is going on here? How are we supposed to handle this? I don't even know. Oh man, we're going up way up here in the sky though. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so confused right now. What are we supposed to do to even begin to handle this? Oh, well we can do this. All right, buddy, I'm going down. See, the thing is, is I don't have any health right now, so this guy is moving so fast too. Doesn't even match his walking cycle. Oh man, he's reminding me of Jack too. <laughs> All too much in the same. No, please, stop it, stop it. No, get these things away from me. Those nasty old things. Um, hmm. So we just gotta go for this. Take as much damage as we can as he just sort of floats around here. He's not even moving his legs. Okay, okay, this is gonna be tough, but we just gotta use this stuff and hopefully it works out for us. And I just, I can't take any damage or I'm done for. Oh man, this is intense. I just love how it throws us out of the blue. It's like, hey, you know what? Gigantic robot fight, you better be, better be ready because you're going to take it. Okay, um, hmm. We just gotta keep doing this then. At least until another pattern of this boss goes on. This is a pretty cool boss fight though. <laughs> it's pretty hectic, hectic and all that kind of stuff with all the, uh, Stuff going on, and just how this barren and horribly red this place is. And this is slowly but surely chipping down on his health, which is sort of annoying. I wish it was a little faster. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what does that do? I don't want to know. Oh, he exploded my thing! You jerk, ow! Oh, and there I go. Oh, he almost smashed me that time. Okay then. So let's hop on up here. And we're doing it a lot better this time. Oh gosh. We just gotta shoot at him. We just gotta go building the building and shoot at him. I feel like it's a glitch that he's not moving his legs properly. It just looks, oh wait, no, he has he has rockets under his boots. And what's the point of having legs? I don't even know. <laughs> I guess just the aesthetic of having it. The legs are all the rage these days with the kids. Either way, let's just keep taking him out. We're, we're doing a bit better. He has a little bit lower health than last time. I feel like this is gonna take so long, though. This is gonna be the longest boss fight in history. <laughs> okay, maybe not in history, but definitely a long boss fight. Come on now. Oh boy. These guys are going crazy, too. As soon as I finish, you know, shooting some of them off, he just shoots off more of them. How am I supposed to make progress like that? <laughs> Be a little progressive, Mr. Thugs, for less leader. 
Okay, that's all of them down. But he's just shooting out more of them, like I said. Okay, then. I think he's getting tired of me, so he's probably going to walk on over and then smash this one as well. That's okay. I just take out whatever health I can. Oh, boy. It's like You see the health bar not move, though, and this is so intimidating. It's just like, this doesn't do anything. All right, then where are we going off now? Maybe this way? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. She's shooting at me like crazy, too. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it, you jerk. I don't need any of this in my life. I already have enough stresses. Okay, whoa, okay, for a second I thought it was just gonna throw me into the lava like, trolled ya! <laughs> you thought you were gonna be able to beat him. Nope, we're just gonna throw you into the lava. Okay then, take care of him though, we just gotta do it. And it just seems to be the same thing over and over and I hope it does mix up a bit here, but I don't know, so far it ain't. Okay, come on buddy. You wanna cheap your way out of this by buying nice robots while I have to use your machinery to take you down? You think you'd fool, pull, fool? Foolproof your city a bit, but nope, not happening. Okay, then, guy, we're just gonna have to take you out the hard way. Oh, here it goes again. Guy's right, taking out this one. This one, pretty close by, so we can do this one. We just gotta do it quick. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he was telling me to dance, I wanna make you dance. There you go, now he's actually walking. Makes a little more sense. We got like one third of the way there. There's a little bit more <laughs> until we're almost halfway. Milestones, everybody, milestones. These little guys are becoming annoying, though. Hopefully, he changes it up soon. Hopefully, it goes a little faster, too, while we're at it. <laughs> I just don't want it to take this long forever. It's just annoying. Oh, gosh, no. No. There you go. I haven't gotten hit by too much. I think I've only taken, like, one little bit of damage. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh boy. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, Ooh. oh no. Get back into that. There you go. Okay. So, I don't know what's going to happen when we run out of turrets, which might be pretty darn soon at this point. I don't know, it's like it's hard to find where the turrets are because you don't know where the lay of the land is. Either way, our weapons themselves don't look like they're gonna do too much here, seeing how this thing's going ham on it, on him, on this whole machine, and this is not doing much. Ah! Okay, we dodged it. Oh man, this isn't gonna be good. Oh boy, going down. <laughs> just dodging by all luck here. Come on. And we just need to find another boost pad, just like this one. Um, have we taken this one though? That's the most important thing. Um, whoa, okay, it doesn't look like we have, seeing how there's one right here, of course. All right, let's take this up, and you're going down, buddy. <laughs> Sit here and do the same thing we've done for the last five minutes. Uh-oh, he's rising, he's doing something new. The entertainment fact, he's gonna throw a car at me. Don't do that, that's rude, I don't appreciate it. And there it goes. So I guess it wasn't something incredibly new, but either way, we can go on to this one, perfect landing, and then continue doing what we were doing before, which is just shooting at his torso. <laughs> Your torso's gonna be ripped apart after we're done for it. You're never gonna be able to go out swimming in a bathing suit ever again, you'll be too embarrassed. Oh gosh, what is happening now? Oh gosh, oh, he's blowing this up, okay. He has some interesting ways to blow things up, but he never uses it on me, he just uses it for the turrets. Okay then, so. We need to find somewhere else to land. Um, hopefully we find something interesting or worth doing. Looks like there's one over here, but he's stepping around though. Gotta be quick, I don't want him to stomp on me. That won't be easy or fun or none of those things. It won't be nice. Okay, come on. Come on, here's one. I don't think we've done this one either. Go! Oh boy, where are we going? I don't even know. It's like you don't know where you're going until you land. Luckily, it was a good spot. He's almost done though. We have less than half to go. So we just gotta go here and tear him up. Especially with these ones, you get nice and close and just do a good amount of damage. But come on. Ooh, he's, he's shooting, but he sort of missed there. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. This is, it's like I've been cutting out a lot of this because it's rather boring. It's pretty a pretty plain boss fight. I don't know what's with this. I think it would be a little more interesting. He has a nice robot butt. <laughs> nice butt for a robot. Okay, then. Come on. Oh, he's banging his chest like he's some big old gorilla. You don't know what you're doing, buddy. You have no idea. You ain't no gorilla. You're a robot, and he's gonna smash me again. Like gorilla smash. Blah. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Okay, then. Let's try this one, then. It looks like the jump pads actually disappear once you use them, which is actually pretty interesting and actually helpful, too. Where is this one gonna land me? Okay, for a second, I thought this one was for sure gonna land me into the lava. We went through a building and everything. I was like, did the game just glitch and we just land and die? Because that would make me so upset. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Just gotta keep doing the same thing we've been doing for the last three years. I've grown, I've got a gigantic gray beard while well, I've been sitting here doing this boss fight, guys, and it hasn't been fun. You okay, Clank? Great. Let's go. Hello? Aren't you forgetting someone? Oops. <laughs> oh, I meant uh, after we free Angela. Thanks. Now, before you run off, Take a look at this. 
I picked it out of Lizard Boy's pocket. Log entry 4792. Returning from Megacorp's distribution center. I'm beginning to suspect that Megacorp has lied to me. The extra-large decorative paperweights being stored there might actually be an enormous supply of protopets. Which might explain why the whole facility is guarded by ravenous mutant creatures. Their warehouse ship may hold as many as 10 million crates, and with 100 protopets per crate, that could be as many as, um, if, uh, forget it, 3.5 zillion protopets. A secret shipment that large can only mean one thing. Megacorp is up to no good. I will confront them as soon as possible and demand a bigger cut of the action. Are they insane? The galaxy is in far more danger than I had imagined. Do you suppose, Mr. Fizzwidget? We've wasted enough time on Fizzwidget already. I swear that crazy old man is not the same person I used to work for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You used to work for Megacorp? Yes, in the genetics division. On the protopet? On fixing the protopet's flaws. And I was this close to succeeding when Fizzwidget suddenly pushed up the release date. <sighs> Is it worth disrupting the protopet shipments? It's a start. But to stop them for good, we're gonna need to break into Megacorp headquarters. Break in? How? I have an old Megacorp ID on my home planet. We'll split up then. Clank and I will go to the distribution facility. You go grab the ID. Okay then, it seems like our plan is set, so in the next episode we'll go and do that, but I have to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family, because the support truly does help. I have to like, comment in the comment section below what you thought about this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.